Hello everybody, this is Ricky Norris here. First of all, can I say, hope you all had a very good Christmas and New Year. Now, not the way we want to start the year, because on the 4th of January, uh, the government has announced that we've sadly gone into a third national lockdown. Now, it is devastating, but at the end of the day, people's lives are at risk. So, instead of reverting back and doing gaming content for the main channel, what I thought I'd do is I'll introduce some walking journeys. So, welcome you all to the first instalment of Rick and Harris Walking Journeys. Now, the vlog, now today's walking vlog or walking journey, I'm going to show you some of the best and recommended trackside spots in and the surrounding areas of Scarborough. Now for those of you who are new to the channel, uh, welcome along. Scarborough is a local town to me. Uh, I've been living here for just gone seven years and I love it. Well, anyway, it's a beautiful day and let's go out there and let's enjoy this first walking journey. And hopefully, the first of many to come. Just walking towards the first trackside spot now. This is Seymour Road, A64. Where is it? More people, quite a few people have been asking me about this one, but where is the turntable? In Scarborough. Yeah. See, this is for about to it coming out by a lane depot. Let's come on, see the word. The Persian guy is just here. It's just down here. So here we are then, our first trackside spotting. This is the turntable here at Scarborough. Over the years we've had lots of steam locomotives which have come here, service maintained and turned around. Now sadly we do have this generator in the way. Let me see that. Well those sloppy gears with shots, but nevertheless. We've done a good spot to come to, really. Anyway, so I can see a few trains from here. Then we'll go to another trackside spot, which is overlooking the bridge. Oh, well, the following trains we're going to see. Uh, there was supposed to be driving training with Light Class 68, but sadly, they have been cancelled at the moment. But we are going to see the 1435 and the arrival train from Sheffield.
Okay, let's, let's, this is Queen Margaret's Bridge, or Queen Margaret's Road. Let me show you a sneaky one. Which is just down this way. Olivers Mount Park. I'm on the right for late, there is a gap somewhere down here. Well, it's worth it though for this shot. Okay, well, we now just walk alongside Olivers Mount Park, which is just behind here. So let's go walk down because there is a gap somewhere. Get some good track side shots. Beautiful here. This is all of a small park, and this will feature in the upcoming in the vlog in the near future. Anyway, trying to go time to go back to our trackside spot because 15:34 transplant ser no free service. It's about to leave in 10 minutes. Also, for next north and terminating service from Sheffield is also due. Be said, I'm enjoying this walk today. <laughs> anyway, let's go to this trackside spot, then we shall keep walking along. Okay, we're just leaving Olive Savant Park now. I'm gonna head back towards Queen Margaret Road Bridge. I'm gonna see the arrival of the um, 1551 Transpine Service from York, and I think it's gonna be the same one that fives that we saw earlier. Let's just hear 60023 give the almighty beans. <laughs> By the way, this park will feature in an up upcoming walking journey. Right, off we go.
just walking up Lond Londborough Road now. I was watching this one door. Because the dog was walking this way. Okay everybody, uh, we're just at Westwood at the moment, just off uh, Westwood Road. Anyway, I thought I'd come to the low bottom of the station because there's two things I want to show you here. Oops, sorry. First of all, they got the old Forsgrave signal box. But, look just behind that. And this could be a clue to your next walking walking journey that we'll be doing. That's why right, it's a bricked up old railway tunnel. You can see where the vegetation is. Sadly we can't get access to there, but you can see where the chains used to come out. And they'll go so far down. We'll just be on the platform here and then reverse back. It's a platform one.
two seven eight. Still looking to go with seven eight. Anyway, nearly home. Right, everyone, we are back home now. Sorry about my hair, but I'll be wearing my hat today. So, the first of quite a few, I, I should imagine, but uh, the purpose of this first walking journey was to show you um, some of the recommended and best trackside spot locations in and the surrounding areas of Scarborough. Now, I'd like to apologise, I had to split it over two days, but first on Friday, I forgot my gloves and the temperatures plummeted, so I was really, really it was really, really cold. And I had other things to do as well yesterday. Anyway, um, Friday was good. We went to Scarborough Turntable. For the first time, I managed to get bowled over by a Class 170, just while paying Class 185's work to service to York. Then we um, went to Queen Margaret's Road, overlooked, overlooked over the footbridge, and uh, we got north from 170, cruising by. Then to kill some time, I went to Olversman Park, and it's a nature park, but it is a really, really nice park. Uh, I recommend to anyone who lives in Scarborough area is to visit, to visit it, because it is absolutely stunning. Anyway, we got uh, another North 170 coming in, and we also got a Terminate, well, Transpine as well, coasting, coasting through with another free set for York. Then we went to Queen, back to Queen Margaret's Road on the bridge and we saw another free set that was just cruising into Scarborough. That reminds me actually, just what I mentioned. Because uh, this by the time this blog goes out, Northern would have made some timetable adjustments. And basically they were reverting back to the times that ran during the first lockdown. So one example uh, the hourly Scarborough Sheffields is now, every two hours, Scarborough to Hull. But I think traction will be pretty much the same. Uh, 170s, or so if not, I might get the old sprinter in anyway. But there is guaranteed connections from Hull to get to Sheffield anyway. And today, when we went towards Scarborough Station, um, and we got found a good trackside spot, I think the road, oh, what was it called now? What's, what's up in the world? I've got the name now. No, anyway, it's just overlooking Scarborough Station. And um, it was pretty good, actually. We've got um, some good variety in there. Now, I just want to talk a serious note here. Because, unfortunately, there are people who are still breaching the COVID law. And unfortunately, as a few train spotters found that as well. As well. But that's because they filmed from the platforms. Now my advice would be that if you are gonna train spot, then do it locally. But if you can, do it from trackside location as well. But don't forget, you can't travel on the trains because it's only for essential travel purposes only. So for work and essential shopping as well, let's say. But on serious note, I just want to stress out. Now, I won't just mean saying this, but everyone will say the same thing. But please, you must stay at home. You might think to yourself, oh, I've had a vaccine, I won't catch COVID now, but don't say that too soon. Because don't forget, we are in third national lockdown. So take it seriously and don't breach the rules. For what we did, it was all perfectly legal because we filmed it from all trackside, plus it was all part of a daily exercise anyway. So we're out on a walk, hence the title Walking Journeys. Now, we know things are very hard at the moment. We know how tough things are getting now. But let's not give up. 
Let's keep fighting. Keep pushing. We will beat the sea word. We will beat it. I'm going to nickname it the sea. Because we will beat it. We will beat it. As long as we all keep positive. You know, we can use this time productively you know, to find new hobbies and interests to do. In the meantime. And most important, and I think most importantly, is also keep in touch with your family, your loved ones, and of course your friends as well. And well, that's it for your first walking journey. So thank you very much for watching. You can follow me on Twitter and now it's Wiki. All the other links can be found in the description below. And until the next walking vlog or walking journey, take care. Excuse me, stay safe, I'll see you all in the next one.